This is the operational overview of the OCI IAM integration with the autonomous database. In the prior video we talked about the benefits this provides including uh, improved security, ease of account maintenance for DBAs, ability to take existing applications uh, with username and password login and to be able to ship that into a, a, an OCI service and be able to use IAM as a central repository for the passwords and for human users to have a single sign-on uh, for OCI IAM uh, just like they do with other OCI services. There are two mechanisms to access the database. The first is the IAM database password verifier. Uh, the autonomous database is enabled uh, and configured for IAM integration. The user will use an existing uh, a database clients and tools and apps. There's actually no change required as long as it can work with 12C passwords. That means 12C uh, database clients or above or patch to work with the 12C verifiers. The user logs in with the, it, their IAM username and password, not the database username and password and the database clients will do the re regular um, logon process with the database, send the username, the autonomous database will identify itself to IAM using the OCI uh, identifier called the resource principle. And it'll get the user verifier from IAM, go through the regular logon process to authenticate the user, if the user is authenticated, it'll go ahead and get the groups from IAM, and these groups from IAM uh, uh, will establish the schema that the user will land in. The, user ha the IAM user has to be uh, landed uh, one schema uh, to con uh, complete the uh, authorization process. Once uh, the, uh, the user completes the logon process, IAM logon counter will be updated and the user, user will uh, get access to the database. The second mechanism is a token-based uh, access to the database. Again, the autonomous database is uh, configured for IAM, and because these uh, tokens are being passed uh, through the API or the file system to the database clients, you have to use the most up-to-date clients uh, and pull down from the website. Tools and applications can be configured, updated to use uh, the SDK, the public SDK for, SD, uh, for OCI. To get the uh, uh, to take existing uh, credentials from the user like API key or security token, and request a DB token for the user from IAM, get the DB token, pass it to the database client through new attribute in the API, which will then send it to the autonomous database. The autonomous database will verify the DB token, make sure that it was sent by IAM again uh, using the resource uh, principle, and then. Once the DB token is verified, it will get the group information and the same uh, uh, schema mapping uh, as in the prior process uh, because the IAM user still has to land in a, in a schema uh, to complete authorization. If the uh, user doesn't have a security token or API key, the user can, uh, the tool app can request the user to be authenticated. Uh, and then the IAM window will appear, the user will uh, type in their credentials and authenticate to the, the database and then the data, retrieve the database token uh, in the same process as before. If the tool or app is not updated to uh, use the uh, database token uh, from the IAM, then a helper app, the OCI command line interface, can be used. This can do the same thing, takes the API key security token, this has been updated to take that and request a DB token on behalf of the user and it will put that DB token inside of a file location that the DB client can be configured to pick, uh, to pick it up. And it goes through the same process. And the OCI CLI can also ask the user to authenticate and uh, get the DB token uh, from that authentication. And those are the two mechanisms, the password based and the token based. Uh, 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 approaches to access the database.